How's it going YouTube? It's your boy Ron and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium 2 walkthrough series and in the last episode we were able to successfully defeat Claire and retrieve our 8th and final badge of the Johto Gym Leader Castle which now gives us the right to challenge the Elite Four which consists of four of the strongest trainers in Johto and <laughs> I will say this will be one of our toughest challenges yet. And just to give you a rundown on how the Elite Four will work, since they consist of four trainers that we do have to defeat in a row without failure. That being said, if we do happen to lose to one of them along the way, we will have to start over back at the first Elite Four member. If we are able to defeat all four, that gives us the ability to access the Champion of Johto. So to get to him, uh, let's just try to clear the Elite Four first and have success at that. Let's pick out our team. Let's see. I do want to bring out some decent Pokemon since this will be the start of most likely needing to bring them. I will bring out Starmie uh, from here. Uh, and play Jolteon. I want to bring out him only. Yeah, bring out him only. Let's bring in some of the rentals like Kadabra. I do want to try out Haunter since he is good in a lot of the casual speedruns. I mean, sorry, the speedruns in general. And Kadabra. I can still pick one more. Uh, haven't I picked? Do you need a physical type? Um, I'll just go with Ry right on. And picking out the items for them. I'll go ahead with my confusion. And give King's Rock. And for health. Doesn't need that. Uh, we'll just give it Barry. For paralysis, and then I'll give we'll call it a Rhymon. So let's go with this team. So, the first Elite Four member we have to face is going to be Will. Have you studied up on your Psychic type Pokemon? Which he introduces us to what he specializes in Psychic types. And with each Elite Four member they do specialize in a certain type. And they also do bring along one of their main staple Pokemon. And for Will that will be Zatu, that's who we will be seeing. Let me go ahead and pick out this team in case this is who I have to go up against. Yeah. Okay. Whoa! Following the challenger's victories over the gym leader, the Elite Four have barred the way from the leadoff battler in Will, the psychic Pokemon. And as I was saying, since the Elite Four with them, you have to beat them in each order, and if you do happen to fail against either one, you do have to start back over. So depending on <laughs> Um, when this video is released, depending on how long or short it is, you will tell how <laughs> challenging this was. Kadabra. If it brought out Kefave, Kefable, or Girafferig, it most likely will switch out. I'm gonna go for the third one. Just in case. Get ready to go. Okay. Good choice, good choice. Pokemon. It is switching, that so it brought Pokemon out one of those. Not have been the right choice. Oh, it's yep. the referee! There's the attack! Hit! That was good! Okay, did more than half, so this should easily not pass. What impact will this Pokemon switch have and on with, the battle? And as we are progressing further, that's the kind of mentality we have to be in these battles. We have to kind of... Guess. Oh, make an educated no guess on the teams that they're going to be selecting. We're eagerly awaiting so now it's the appearance of the next Pokemon. Zatu, since it's staple, we know that. The Pokeball opens to reveal its Pokemon. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and go for the Shadow Number Ball. of remaining Pokemon is three to two. Should do there a it fair goes. chunk of damage. Drill the weakness. Yeah. Oh, special defense is uh, that. The stat drops. And psychic. Vicious attack! That inflicted 
take some damage. But we should be okay. Go ahead and Give shadow ball again. Back. So far, so good against the first member. This should be a knockout. Wow! He's you shadow ball! Down it goes! And as I said, we know the last thing is us. This into a one-sided battle. Oh, it's not this is so the last Pokemon. Of course, Thunderbolt will provide the stab that the we The White battle continues. Whoa! It's super effective. Ah, simple, simple knockout. That Great first to be four member. And there goes the battle. So without knowledge of Will being able to switch out his Pokemon, if we did not do that, this battle probably could have been a bit longer, but still it should have been manageable. So with that, defeats Will, and now moves us on to the second team before member being Koga, former Kanto gym leader. Your arrival is indeed impressive, as is your look of resolve. And for those of you who remember, Koga is a master of poison types, and his special Pokemon he'll be bringing out is Venomoth. And the team I do want to bring for this... The next opponent is Koga! The challenger must and avoid being mesmerized I believe by this, this is correct. Ninja. Pretty much how he was in the first game. He was an evasion type of gym leader, he pretty much liked to use double team a lot. And I'm pretty sure this is what we're going to be seeing here. So he starts off with the electric. Alright. I'm just going to go for the psychics. Alright, so this is going to be the part of the battle that's going to be annoying. It increased Getting past double team. Just have to be lucky after getting two in a row. That was good. Okay, so the first one was successful. Just have to land They're one. Both hanging top. Okay, so this is just going to continue to use double team. It's still not going to attack. One cadaver, please. A psychic blast. Look, <laughs> that missed. All right, so that was our first miss. The heated action continues. It again and again. Ah, it raised its evasiveness. There's the attack. Oh, that hit too. Oh man. A hot so this battle is, is unfolding. Battle. All right, so now it's gonna go for the attacks. A furious attack. That hit. Come on, Kadabra. Hit so we can continue. Oh my! Um, missed again. I think it's only. I think it's just gonna go for thunder again. Dang. Can we have any luck? Thunder is not even an accurate move. Here comes move. thunder. Yes, it's a hit. Okay. Down it goes. That's Pokemon RNG for the you. The next Pokemon needs to be prepared. Uh, right on. They're it's ready to go. Me. I can't go for thunder. Oh, it's Rhydon! But I am gonna go for the earthquake. The white and even if it switches, that's not a big deal. Alright, so. Oh, quick claw! <laughs> quick claw! Hang on, We're getting some of the RNG back. And it hit! And it hit! Alright, right on. There it is! That's. That's a good helper right there. That KO will bring out a new Pokemon! So if it does bring out Venomoth, that's fine. Oh, it's it Venomoth! Does. So it's the last Pokemon is most likely weak two against Rhydon. Two Pokemon Rydon remain on each side. Most likely brought Ariados. That's my ah, guess. Rock fly. Oh, that's <laughs> oh we went It did a double quick claw! <laughs> oh, man, this battle's just gonna it be It increased its evasiveness! I'm just gonna have to try our best to hit. Mm, it's going for the toxic. Nasty, toxic. No, Miss. that didn't connect. Wow! That struck home! 
It hung on by the oh. skin of its teeth. Oh, what is he? <laughs> what in the world? Oh, come on. This is gonna hurt. That's it. Bam, that worked perfectly. It managed to hang in there. Wow. What now? Hit. That inflicted some damage. Are both Pokemon running out of steam? Wow. This has been a super weird battle. There! Giga Drain! Right! That's a hit! But that just goes to show you how bad oh, especially the Vincent Rhydon is. It nearly fainted to a Venomoth. Not Giga Drain. One Pokemon so remains. Venomoth doesn't even have that high special attack and there's no stab on it either. Oh, it's starting! This is the last Pokemon! So should be able to outspeed the it. Action continues. Go for the psychic. Combat and face each other. It does have one double team a up, so attack. that is a little bit of worry. Yes, it's a hit! Oh, and down it goes! And the last should be Arya. There's one Pokemon left for battle. Oh, yep. it's Arya done! It's down to the last Pokemon now. It's just one on one now. This match has come down to the wire. Oh, what's this? A powerful blow. The last Pokemon goes down. And that was very annoying. Almost a close call, but as always, we can prevail. I too must pursue further discipline. I'm gonna touch on this a little bit further, um, but first let me go ahead and announce the third Elite Four member, former Kanto Elite Four member, Bruno. I'm Bruno. As one of the Elite Four, I will stand up to your challenge. Definitely bring in Stormy and Kadabra. Go ahead. So let me touch on what I was going to elaborate with Koga. As we progress further, it's going to be very important that we can kind of guess the teammates that they'll be bringing. Uh, it's still going to involve a lot of luck because certain Pokemon are going to be more favorable than others. This is essentially important for speedrunners. They can definitely understand what I mean by this. There are certain Pokemon that will want to be preferred over others. Um, with Koga, I would have not liked to have seen Electrode since simply because it's one of the There's fastest the and it had stomped. It was annoying and wasted so much time. Bruno, not that I know too much about, but Heracross is still a dangerous poke. Still would not to have like, seen that. But luckily, since I don't think it can the learn white hot um, battle Mega continues. Horn in round one, or is it top Mega Horn in round one, that wasn't a big deal. A psychic blast! That's it. Oh, oh! And of course, that. as we go to Kanto, and even in the stadium battles in round two, definitely round two, we will what Pokemon pretty much will be appear next. seeing Pokemon that we definitely will want and not want, oh, it's as Golem. the opponent seems. One Pokemon is still capable of showing up. So obviously the last one the champ one is staple Pokemon. Didn't want to bring it out against Kadabra. Vicious attack. This should do a good amount of damage. That inflicted some damage. Yeah. And Hold on! Yeah, that that okay. Right! That's a hit! <laughs> yes! It's going down! It's always fun to see the unnecessary crits. That KO will bring, bring out, out a new Pokemon! Because both Starmie will both take out Golden oh, Head, it's which is hopefully straightforward as we like. Two Pokemon this remain on each side. This will 100% take it out. Ride that, sir! That had to hurt. Oh, we had no strength left. Just one Pokemon the remains. Will be his Machamp and shouldn't be. Oh, it's Machamp! This is the last Pokémon! The number of remaining Pokémon is 2 to 1. A furious attack! That's the home! How's that? That's it! 
assist last psychic should clear out Bruno pretty pretty easily. Now uh, one more. There are no more remaining Pokemon. I would have preferred to have seen Onyx over Heracross. It would have just been a simpler battle that way, but certainly not that bad of a challenge. And of course, as we go further, I will be saying a lot of Pokemon I would have preferred over the other. <laughs> Why? This just can't be happening. Which brings us to our last Elite Four member, being Karen. I am Karen. Would you care for a showdown with my Dark type Pokemon? Which she said she specializes in Dark types. It's a little bit more tricky. A lot of risk into bringing this team, but I'm and hoping now the challenger faces Karen, the last of the elite four. It may have Will not been the, the greatest the idea to bring up two psychic types against the dark type leader, but victory? should be okay. As long as I get my ideal team, we will be definitely be seeing Umbreon, that is her staple. All right. I'm gonna go for the high jump kick. If I meant if she switches, all right, good. Most likely did not bring Gengar. She's gonna go for the. Uh, is it psychic? Or, okay, the attract. So this is how she stalls the attract. This attraction. Hey, hey! It became attracted to the opponent. A hot battle is unfolding. Just to prevent any unnecessary hiccup. Wait, um, what did I give Starman? Alright, I'm just gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the high jump kick again. The commands are made. Come on, hit Monty, hit, hit. High jump kick! Bullseye! Right. Now we take go. down her annoying Pokemon Umbreon. Because that's what she was just gonna be doing the entire time. Just gonna really confuse Ray what and Pokemon will having the attractive. Oh, it's Gengar! Okay, I was very surprised. She had Gengar. I'm surprised she didn't bring, her, bring it out to top. switch. I have nothing that I can use against Gengar. I can't even poison it either. I, I can't poison it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother switching it out because then that would be risking too much. Nasty toxic! That had no effect. The white hot battle continues. I have to, I can't. I just can't switch. I have to let Gengar go. I mean, hit him on. There's the shot. Sorry, Hitmon Lee. <laughs> the way you're it going out is not the way I would like it to go out, but HP. I can't. I just have to let it be. Marks are flying from both competitors. A psychic blast. Will the weakness. Yes, it's going down. So I am going to bring out Dabra. That KO will bring out a new Pokemon. I'm just hoping her last isn't Bible. Oh, it's Kadabra! Only because it's just a grass type that can take out Starmie. Even though it is still weak to Psychic, I do prefer it not to Both be. get ready to go. How's that? It's become confused. Good job, Kadabra. Can you Whoa. give me a crit? Okay. That's fine. Oh, and down it goes! <laughs> Didn't even matter! That was beautiful to see! Just one Pokemon remains! Oh, it's Vileplume! Okay, I'm glad this it did because that Pokemon. is what I was afraid of, Vileplume. Okay. The number of remaining Pokemon is 2 to 1. Aha! It's confused no more! Not even confused anymore. That's it. Perfect. Oh, 
Wow. The last Pokemon goes down. Cadabra, thank you. And there goes the battle. Oh, let's go, Cadabra. Beautiful work. No, I can't win. How did you become so strong? Honestly, that was a lot of luck. <laughs> we needed some luck on that, to be honest. But the Elite Four is cleared. Which brings us to the champion himself, Lance. It looks like even the Elite Four couldn't stop you. I am your last opponent in the Johto Castle. That's right. Champion Lance is our last opponent. After you've cleared the Elite Four, you are given permission to battle Lance, the champion. However, if we fail here, we will have to start over the entire Elite Four. Lance is certainly one of the most strongest trainers in Johto, so this will certainly be one of our hardest battles. I thought that you would be able to get this far. Let's get this started. Lance is a dragon type user, however he uses well, notably one of the strongest Pokemon out there in this generation being Dragonite. That is who he will 100% bring out. In terms of who else it may be, this is a bit harder. I do want to bring Haunter because I do know many of his Pokemon except really Gyarados will knock it out in one move. This is a little bit hard. Jolteon or Cadaver, I do want to bring... This is a bit harder. I'm gonna go for Jolteon. Let's get this last battle started. Finally, this is absolutely it! The last battle! The opponent is Mike! Curtains have risen for this fateful encounter! It is Steelix. Okay. So for this, I will be doing what most speedrunners do and go for the Destiny Bond because one Haunter will outspeed it and Steelix will definitely be using Earthquake and that will it. definitely take out Haunter. Hang on! Earthquake! Bam! That worked perfectly! It took the opponent down with it! Beautiful. I'm down actually glad it goes. was, since the It's taking its opponent down with so it! So we do know his one of his Pokemon for sure is Dragonite. The last is a game of chance. I would prefer it be Gyarados because if it is... Jolteon can just simply take it out, but if not, just gonna have to ride on luck. Oh, it's starting! Two Pokemon remain on Definitely gonna go side. for the Ice Beam, certainly the most weak to it. A crit would certainly be helpful. Wow! Uh oh, was that Pokemon the wrong choice? Whoa, KO'd by one hit! It was all calculated, guys. It was all calculated. There's only one Pokemon left to come up. Oh, it's and Charizard. That's also it's down fine to too. The last Pokemon now. The number Let's of just get this Pokemon Let's just get this over one. with. There's the shot. That has to hurt. Gonna fly. <laughs> it's just gonna stall the battle. Well, oh, wow, Charizard is up there. I do want to take a moment to appreciate the music in this game. The champion battle theme is just one of my favorite in Pokemon Stadium 2. There, when we get further into the series, I may point out a few more of my most favorite tracks, but this is certainly one of them. I mean, come on, just take a listen. They're eyeing each other warily. No announcer, listen. I 
Alright, sorry guys. <laughs> I just love the music in Pokemon Stadium to and even the first. Just the, the, the tracks for this game are just so pleasing. What's that? That did little damage. This showdown appears to be Of course me commentating may not be ideal since it kinda of draws out the music, but of course all the music's out there on YouTube and everywhere else. You can easily take a listen. But with that, Starmie is able to take out Charizard, and that you gives us the end. Gym leader Beautiful. This is the emergence of a new champion. Some words from Lance. I concede defeat. You might have what it takes to prevail over Kanto's gym leaders. And with that, Jodo Gym Leader Castle has been cleared. Okay. Here, congratulations, you beat the champ. Here's a special present for you. Oh, one of my Pokemon can learn a previous seed. Learn TM. Um, do I even... Oh, it's funny, they're making Kadabra learn a move even though it's a rental. <laughs> Same with Haunted, that's actually very interesting. I'm not gonna do that. I could, that'd be very funny, but nah. And... Honestly, none of these Pokemon didn't learn anything, so I'll be okay. Perfectly fine. And with that, gives us access to Kanto's Gym Leader Castle. So, of course, we were able to prevail the Johto Gym Leader Castle and go through the Elite Four. It was a little bit <laughs> intimidating, I'll admit, but we were able to successfully prevail. And also, since we did beat this um, in round one, we don't see the cutscene that normally comes here, but when we get to round two, we'll be able to see that, how we are supposed to. But of course, we're just going to leave it at that, because after the Elite Four, we are going to take a break from here. And of course, leave it for the next episode. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you for joining me in this journey from Johto. We are going to be moving on to Kanto the next time. And of course, we'll be facing every gym leader in chronological order. So we will be going up against Brock, a pewter gym, in our next episode. So guys, again, thank you for watching. And until the next time, take care.